Um, how has you know the transformation been for you? What can you tell us about what you have done, the commitment, and how it has changed you? Please, let's start with you. Um, what, what's your name, sir? Please let us put our hands for Mr. Yemi. Please let us put our hands together for Mr. Yemi, who is going to open the conversation this evening. Thank you. Good evening, Hall. Um, my journey into Um, first of all, um, what's the name? Sorry, Ife, Mr. Effective. Um, um, you are a colleague in the industry. I'm a media person too, so I need to acknowledge that first. So, um, my journey into investment world uh, is something that uh, started right from my childhood. Um, I can say right from the womb of my mother, because in my family. Um, Investment turning one nera to two nera is something that my dad and my mom they discuss a lot every day. Um, fast forward to this point because of our time. Oh, you give me more time? Okay, okay. Fast forward to this point. Um, thank God that uh, I came across this organization and uh, the journey so far has been very, very wonderful. Uh, at least um, I don't complain too much about Nigeria again. I don't complain too much. In fact, I don't listen to news. I don't read newspaper again. Anytime people are discussing politics in the public space, I just plug my two ears that you guys, you will die discussing politics. Let me be making my money. So at this point, <laughs> let me, let me stop here. Okay. Ah, voila, wow. Where, where are you living? Where is your house? Which area? Bagada, you are, you are not in my jurisdiction. I would have said I've lost one vote, right? You know, but I mean, I know we're all tired. Um, you know, so we're going to be mixing it. I'll get to the next person. You know, but I know we're all tired. But we need to liberate ourselves. We need to get our minds... Um, I was never interested in politics too. Never. I was not interested in politics so much that I did not, I deliberately did not do NYSE. She went over NYSE, no man, no very contest. I did not do it because I was not interested. But I got to a point. I realized that, you see, um, uh, I've forgotten the name of the person, but I can remember the quotes. Says that, Politics is too dangerous to be left in the hands of politicians. You didn't hear me. Politics is too da is dangerous. The day I came across that phrase, that sentence, and I studied and I realized that what we have done in the last you know, few years is to leave politics in the hands of politicians. It is politicians that actually come out to vote. Nigerians don't vote. Let me quickly share a figure so that we understand what I'm saying. The present Lagos State Governor, Governor Babajite Sonwolu, won the mandate to become the governor of Lagos State with 739,000 votes. That number may seem big, but let me tell us that people with PVC in Lagos, eligible voters in Lagos, is 6.5 million as of 2019. 6.5 million. And the winner of the election got 739,000. Where did that vote come from? Their political words from different parts, their members in different areas. They are the ones who come out to vote. So when they say we have left politics in the hands of politicians. That is what it means. So it's only politicians that decide. It's only politicians that choose who votes for them. In the last local government election, the two polling units in my area, one was 11 votes, the other one, 12 votes, all. We have left politics too long in the hands of politicians, and it's dangerous. So, bros, 
don't join them in the discussion no but please when it's time to vote please come out and vote thank you very much god bless you all right uh, please put your hands together for me now uh, clap for that try okay let's let's also hear from someone else let's take um maybe a female or a male anybody you know any other okay all right sir thank you please come forward god bless you please put your hands together for him What was the name, sir? My name is Evangelist Orwell. Ah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to talk in the line of a uh, Christian perspective. I'm going to base on my on scriptures before I join the Kedja Chambers Industry, Kedja Chambers uh, Industry and Commerce, and Agri. Before I join them. I have already thought within myself that there's a prophecy that says towards in the end of time or towards the end of time there are going to be famine, there are going to be war, rumors of war, pestilence and what have you. I have read it from the Bible and as I was growing up and I saw the thing manifesting, rumors of war and war is taking place now. Where? Ukraine, Russia invasion of Ukraine, Abi. And many other places. Now, somebody say he doesn't talk, discuss politics. I discuss politics indirectly. How? Who is telling me that the change we expected to come during the Buhari regime is not coming and hunger is killing us? I say forget about it. Go to the rural area. I'm in rural area. I farm. So far, so good. I want to increase my farm to about 15 acres. That's what I'm targeting. I farm. Throughout last week, I was busy planting maize. As Marlon was brushing, I was also planting maize. By the way, I invested little amount in the Kedja chambers or commerce, industry, and agriculture. Little amount. I have received the first 25, 50% of that investment. And I reinvested again. Very soon, I'm going to get another 50%. So my calculation is this, that almost every month, I want to be investing, so every six, six months, I'll be making, getting salary. I want to use the Kedja Chambers to be getting salary. How do I am going to do it? If I invest 100,000 this month, in the sixth month, in the sixth month, I'll get what? 150,000. I'll receive 50,000 Naira salary. The next month, I invest another one, so that it will be like this, like this, like this. So I'll be earning salary. That is my aim. So far, so good. I have received some number of trainings from the Kedja Chambers. I have done mushroom training. I've also done a cucumber training. I've also had a bee, beekeeping training. All I'm waiting for is a little grant. I will blossom into the areas I have gone my training. So I don't complain with others who say hungry. I say, no, go to rural area because I have a prophetic language that says, you go to the hinterland and farm because time shall come. If you are staying in the city with the carbon monoxide, you will die early. But if you go to the rural areas and farm vegetable fruit, in fact, let me tell you, in my farms, especially where I'm living, I'm living in my own land. I'm living in my own house. I decided to uh, sacrifice other pleasures to be able to get accommodation in my own land. And let me tell you what I do. The other day I was going through the plants I have, just I went one, two, three. I discovered that I have about 19 different types of crops. Mango is there, gova is there, coconut is there. These are number of, if you get it in your company, but vegetable I don't buy. What I leave, I don't buy. I get it in my farm, and I eat surplus the way I want it. So, if you are here, and you want to collaborate with the Kedja Chambers of Commerce, and like my brother say, our president say, food is not a difficult thing. We're going to eat and eat with our hands. 
if you are lazy, you can't, you can't get food. Because the Bible says no food for a lazy man. So, I want us to also follow suit. If you are living in somebody's house, I will advise you come to Ikrodu, get land in Abowa, in Mota, and build your house, plant your vegetables and crops. You don't need to buy all these things. Buy, plant. If you, in fact, my aim is to be planting anything plantable so that I will get food. I don't plant flower. I don't plant flower. I said the one going to be useful for me. Habiscus is a medicinal plant. I plant it. Three leaf, miracle leaf is a medicinal plant. I plant it. Bitter leaf is in my compound. This, uh, in fact, that's what an Igbo man call or her. It's in my compound. And I get them. In fact, I have palm fruits that I used to do banga soup. We need to go to the basis. And I have already seen it before from the biblical point of view that in future there are going to be hunger. And it has to be doing this for now to prepare against future. So I give us this expo to do the same. Hunger will be wiped out. Poverty will be wiped out in our country. And it's going to be well with all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you very much, Evangelist. Please put your hands together for him one more time. Hey, hey, hey! Don't go yet. Thank you for watching our video. And please and please join us in kicking out poverty in our societies. Kindly like, share, and subscribe to our TV channel. And please do deem it through by leaving a comment in the comment section. Thank you and God bless you. Poverty Fighters TV, we create wealth.